This time round, we will be looking at an article that appeared in Goal. This one was written by Richard Mills. It reads, Zach Greely's names his toughest opponent, but it's not Danny Carvalho. With Man City star laughing as he agrees Real Madrid fullback is a wind-up merchant. Zach Greely's named Manchester City teammate Kyle Walker as his toughest opponent, while agreeing Real Madrid's Danny Carvalho is a wind-up merchant. So what happened? Well, Sky Sports asked 100 football fans who was the toughest opponent Greely's has faced, and the winger had to guess what they said. While the 29-year-old commented his top three were Walker, Westham's Aaron Juan Bissaka and Carval, the supporters correctly guessed the former and the latter, but not the ex-Manchester United offender. The England international also explained how he and Spain international Carval liked to get under each other's skin. So here's what Zach really said. He told Sky Sports, Kyle Walker is his toughest opponent. He's an unbelievable defender, pace, strong, 1v1. He's so hard to go past. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, yeah, I would have had him in my top three. He's really good in 1v1 defending. Carval, well, we've played against each other so many times and had many good battles. Yeah, but I think we both are wind-up merchants. We know what we are coming up against. His career speaks for itself. He's had an unbelievable career. So here's the bigger picture. Well, after a difficult season in 2023-24, where Greeley struggled for game time at City and was left out of England's Euro 24 squad, the former Aston Villa man is playing more regularly this term and is back with the three Lions too. But he is arguably still a way off in terms of matching the careers of Walker and Carval, with the latter winning practically every trophy that there is possible. So that then brings us to the end of this particular piece of news. Tell me what do you make of this. Please leave me your comments down below and we can discuss it further. Until next time though, this is World Football News.